Combining perennial crops with other crops or trees is a popular form of agroforestry. Intercropping perennials like coffee, cocoa, or many other fruit trees enhances ecological and socioeconomic benefits, and it has another major advantage. Specific combinations of crops and trees can be adapted according to the needs of the farmers, the environment, and market access. But which combinations make sense? While possibilities are endless, suitable intercropping models depend on the location-specific biophysical context and farmers' preferences. Coffee can be intercropped, for example, with vegetables, spices, or fruits in parallel rows or around the border of the plot. Intercropping legumes add nitrogen, which can be used by the coffee plants. For shade, farmers plant either native timber or fruit trees, such as durian, avocado, papaya, and many more. Cocoa is often established together with maize, cassava, papaya, and banana. They not only provide food and income, but also shade for the young seedlings, which reduces mortality. After a few years, shade can be reduced to a few timber and fruit trees as well as leguminous trees. But mature cocoa can still be intercropped in lines, for example, with coconut, mango, or banana. The choice of system depends on the preferences and capacities such as equipment, labor, and time available of the farmer. When developing a land use plan, we select the suitable trees and crops, but also consider planting patterns and management practices to reduce competition between the components. Optimized shade management provides the necessary shade for a healthy main crop while keeping competition for light, water, and nutrients at a minimum. For instance, in mature cocoa plantations, with more than 800 plants per hectare, Optimal shade level is around 30 to 40 percent, which can be achieved with approximately 18 to 20 large shade trees or up to 200 smaller trees per hectare. Further, fertilizer and pest management requirements need to be adapted for each crop in the system. Water and nutrient needs of different crops may have different seasonal peaks, which may have implications for the setting up of irrigation infrastructure or fertilizer application as such. Finally, intercropping should consider an optimal labor distribution over the year and possibly allow for some mechanization. Have you ever wondered whether you can introduce other crops in an existing coffee or cocoa plantation? Yes, you can even use intercropping to rejuvenate your plantation. A map of your plot supports planning. Then you should remove all aging or unproductive trees. With targeted thinning and pruning, you can create more space. You can now decide which crops you want to add based on your preferences, market opportunities, and local climatic and soil characteristics. To optimally use the space and facilitate management and harvest, plant the new crops in a structured manner and according to recommended planting distances. 
you may consider adding multiple use trees for fruit, fuel wood, soil improvement, or shade tolerant understory crops like cardamom, black pepper, or vanilla. These crops require limited additional nutrients. It's a win-win.